at Seattle's Waterfront Pier 57, the floating home of the Crab Pot, where for the last 30 years, they've been encouraging diners to roll up their sleeves, tie on a bib, grab a mallet, and chow down on one of their awesomely huge sea feasts. Crab Pot is the place to devour Seattle's ultra-fresh seafood. So how does Crab Pot seafood compare to other places? I think it's really good. It's nice and fresh. And you eat it with your hands. You don't have to be fancy, you know? And like, and you guys... That's the way to do it. I love it. You're required to actually tear the food up here. Assert your dominance. That's right. Top of the food chain. To those who can't get enough seafood, the Crab Pot is a dream come true. Portions are too big for a mere plate. Here, overflowing bowls are dumped right on your table. It's a simple. Just wow, like that. look at that controlled that, chaos. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tip, and then just a little. Let's play a little game of whack a crab. And just this side, ready? And watch my hand. It's like sweet music of the ocean. If you hold the shell up to your ear, you could hear the sound of drawn butter. I heed the seafood's call and head to the kitchen, where 18 year crab pot veteran Dan Wilson welcomes me with a fried filet of halibut. Mm. Want some? Want to share? Come on, go in. I'm the friend. Mm. Oh my God. Oh wow. What is it yeah. that sets like Seattle seafood or Pacific Northwest seafood apart from anywhere else you might get it in the country? I think it's the availability. We're in a great location to get fresh seafood. And I've journeyed here to eat it in its most ginormous and savory form, the Crab Pot Sea Feast. Some diners go with the entry-level feast called the Cove. Steamed clams, mussels, shrimp, and dewy sausage, corn on the cob, and red potato. But that's mere child's play. I'm here to devour the biggest, baddest dish on the Crab Pot menu, the Alaskan Sea Feast. So this is the workings of the Alaskan Sea Feast. That it is. It has everything in the Cove Sea Feast, plus a small colony of sweet, succulent crab. So you have Dungeness? We have Dungeness, Snow, and King. Wow. So tell me, where is the Dungeness from? This right here is from Washington. So this is local too? Yes. So all those flavors are gonna mix. So you're gonna get the andouille and the sweetness of the corn, the, yeah. that awesome sort of buttery saltiness of the crab. It steams together for just under 10 minutes, and the five-pound dish is ready. Oh, that's awesome. Look at all the great colors that it comes out with. That's the Alaskan Sea Feast for two. The Alaskan Sea Feast for two mortals, or one host of man versus food. All right. So this is a real man versus food. No fork, just a weapon. Oh, yeah. So let's try the king crab first. It's fresh. It's got a, a milkiness, like a creaminess to the texture of the meat. Flaky, it's unbelievable. I tear through the freshest snow crab, mussels, clams, and Dungeness crab I've ever had. Oh, wow. Just sensational. It really is such an amazing exploration of the local seafood. Seafood chow down fests don't get much bigger or better than this. God, thank you for the seafood.